Ray Dalio has a diversified portfolio of assets. He has an all-weather fund, and he has some equities, and he has some bonds, and he has some gold, and some cash, and some real estate, and so forth. So he's very diversified. Number two, he's a very brilliant economist and also a brilliant businessman. He started the firm in the 1970s, if I recall well, mm -hmm. and it's become essentially a huge money manager. Yeah, largest hedge fund uh, in the world. Yes. Uh, now, the thing is about 1937. It is correct that at the time the Fed increased rates, but A, from a very low level, and B, there may have been other reason why the stock market went down than the interest rate increase. But he's basically correct in the sense that the economy stinks in the U.S. It's only the U.S. that believes and makes you believe that the economy is strengthening. The reality, it's not strengthening. And it's very disappointing that after six years mm -hmm. of zero interest rates, mm -hmm and asset purchases by the Fed, the economy is still as weak as it is. Mm -hmm. Now, the Fed has a dilemma. The economy doesn't warrant any interest rate increase. But the Fed, knowing these professors, may also become concerned that if they don't do anything, there could be a stock market developing. We say the S&P continuing to go up and then with the financial market at one day, whether interest rates go up mm. or not, mm -hmm. coming down, that this could create a problem. There so they may want to do a preemptive move. Yeah. As I said, I don't believe they'll increase rates this year. And based on that, I think actually, you see now the 10 years US Treasury uh, notes, they yield slightly more than 2%. Yes. The rates have gone up since the turn of the year from less than 1.5% to over 2%. At the same time, French government bonds yield for the 10 years around 0.56%. In other words, a treasury note yields almost four times more than a French bond. Mm -hmm. A treasury note yields more than Portuguese bonds, right. more than Spanish bonds, uh -huh. more than Italian bonds. So you have to ask yourself, the distortions in the markets are huge that have been created by this money printing. And I would ask the question, has the world gone mad if that, you're, that the U.S. Treasury is paying Not, out The world is yields. normal. The central banks, bankers are mad. <laughs> they are deranged. <laughs> They're deranged. <laughs> They're belonging to an asylum, not in central banks. Let's not worry about their mental health. The, what yes, you're, what I'm, you're, what you're, I'm not worried about their mental health. I don't care what yes. Yellow thinks at night. <laughs> but this means that we should just cash out of every asset and just buy treasuries right now and lock in. No, four hundred percent above reality <coughs> yields. I didn't say that. In fact, I was misquoted by CNBC a few days ago, <gasps> who oh. said that I was bullish on U.S. stocks. That I didn't say. I said that I thought European stocks were relatively attractive because given the low yields on bonds in Europe, uh, the insurance industry, the pension fund industry and wealthy people will move some money into equities that mm -hmm. yield maybe four to five times more than the bond market in Europe. And also, I find relative good value in emerging markets. I think emerging markets have been... Uh, the worst performing asset okay. relative to the S&P in the last few years. Right. And now, okay. already starting last year, some have outperformed the market, okay. I mean the U.S. market.